mosquito-borne Zika virus spreading rapidly in the Americas. There are thousands of cases that are tentatively linked to Zika. And Ovio Pharmaceuticals partnered with the life sciences company on a Zika vaccine. Now, can an Ovio make good on its word? Hi, Jane. The World Health Organization says Zika is spreading explosively in the Americas. It is estimating between 3 to 4 million people have been infected. Zika is being linked to 4,000 suspected cases of microcephaly in Brazil. The CDC is advising pregnant women not to travel to areas with active Zika transmission. The disease is caused by a virus transmitted by Aedes mosquitoes. As for small cap biotech Inovio Pharmaceuticals, it is working on a DNA-based vaccine for Zika back since December of 2015. Now, it is currently testing the vaccine in mice and plans to test on primates within the coming weeks. On Friday, shares of the company are up over 10 percent, bringing its market cap to $465 million. Inovio created a strand of DNA that could prevent the virus. Once the safety of the vaccine is proven, then human testing can begin. Inovio is also working on a vaccine for Ebola and MERS. Keep in mind that DNA-based vaccines are not approved for humans in the U.S. What other approaches are in the works for a vaccine? Big Pharma are actively pursuing vaccines, including Sanofi and GlaxoSmithKline. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases is working on two approaches, DNA-based vaccines and live attenuated vaccines. Now, the DNA-based vaccine was effective in a phase one trial. The process involves a synthetic DNA sequence that triggers the body to create antigens from a killed virus. Separately, live attenuated or killed virus vaccines are time intensive to develop. Now, these vaccines are grown in eggs utilizing live viruses that are made inactive. So this is the traditional approach taken for many vaccines. This might raise plenty of eyebrows, but a company called Oxitec is working on genetically modified mosquitoes. This is the British spinoff from Oxford University and a subsidiary of Virginia-based Intrexon Corporation. Shares of Intrexon soared in the previous session, but pulled back slightly at the end of the week. Now, Oxitec breeds male mosquitoes that contain a self-destruct mechanism with their DNA in the form of an inserted gene. The mosquitoes help stop the spread of the Zika virus by passing along a gene to the offspring that make them expire before they reach adulthood. If the mosquitoes are based, uh, raised with the antibiotic tetracycline, the self-destruct mechanism will not come into play. Now, Oxitec does not have the necessary licenses yet to sell its so-called suppression service. What are some of the challenges for Inovio and other companies scrambling for a cure? Whether we're talking about Ebola or Zika, vaccines take time to develop and test. There are laboratory and regulatory hurdles. As for some of the methods of controlling disease, there are concerns about manipulating the ecosystem and the potential consequences. The only advantage is that there are other mosquito-based diseases that can aid scientists with a basis of understanding. There are similar diseases that are part of the flavivirus family. So understanding dengue, West Nile, as well as chikungunya can allow researchers to utilize past development platforms.